there are so many challenges around our issues which have to be addressed. Increasing demand for sexual reproductive health services and unmet needs. The 7 billion population which is now have emerged in October. The economic crisis, the environmental and the climate change challenges that we are facing. Then also the shifting political architecture and the economic dynamics of the world with new emerging powers. So how do we meet these challenges? How do we respond to the needs of these millions and millions of people? How do we become part of the solution in a world which is changing? I had put my own thinking and writing and reflections on how the Federation can respond to the current environment. Compare that with my colleagues, with senior management team, governing council members at each member association level and at regional councils, then with donors individually and collectively, and other partners. That's how it formed the base of these change goals. Our vision is going to be around three change goals, which is unite, deliver, and also we are accountable as a performing federation. IPPF is committed to promote, to defend, and to ensure that sexual reproductive health and rights are within international and national human rights conventions, and that these rights are protected and defended at each level. IPPF will work with strategic partners and other civil society organizations, international organizations, and parliamentarians to monitor the implementation of international conventions, the respect of national legislations and regional agreements as and when it comes to defending sexual and reproductive health rights at each level. There is no way you can achieve any sense of development without equity and gender equity and women empowerment. We have to deliver. There are millions who are in need and we have to double the number of services that we are providing as IPPF. We have to give the necessary technical and financial and human resources so that our member associations are in a position to meet the unmet need, to address needs of the, their population. So it's not a question of just running to increase the numbers. We'll be consolidating and strengthening our member associations to address the needs. We have to move from just being providers to enablers. For that, we are going to be setting up a technical hub. These technical hubs are going to be helping individual private practitioners to include sexual reproductive health services in their services, drugstores, pharmacies, and also government and smaller and other NGOs whose main mandate is not sexual reproductive health. So it will be a catalyst. There is a new emerging class who's able and capable to afford paying in you know, a reasonable price. We want to reach that middle class. This income is going to help our associations to serve those which are unserved, who cannot afford to pay for the services. Then we have to perform around what I call the triangle of accountability. Accountability to our partners, to our donors, accountability to the public, and accountability to ourselves to critically examine what we have achieved, where we have failed, and where we have succeeded. The chain goals are important because we have a strategic framework around the five A's. These five A's are adolescence, access to sexual reproductive health services and information, abortion, which are critical area, AIDS, and advocacy. But we have to be focused and we have to have priorities in place. IPPF is a very diverse organization and complex at the same time. All these structures have to be accountable to what we have set 
as goals to achieve. I do understand and appreciate the difficulty of change. We have developed our balanced scorecard so that we can monitor the implementation and realization of the change goals. This will enable us to ensure that we have a clearly laid out implementation plan with clearly laid out objectives, time frame, resources required, and also who is accountable for that. I just returned from South Africa where I held meetings with different departments of the South African government. Uh, we have agreed to partner in ensuring that the BRICS, that's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, go along with us in setting the agenda beyond 2014 for the MDGs and for the ICPD. We have also agreed to work on the G20 the, to have an increased commitment of the G20 countries to promote the ICPD and the MDG goals within the context of sexual and reproductive health and rights. We are also working to mobilize Muslim scholars and political leadership and religious leadership in examining critically the women's health as it relates to family planning and women's health in general. I'm working with the private sector, pharmaceuticals mainly, to ensure that their products are going to be affordable for the many who need our services and who need services in sexual reproductive health. We're working to host next generation of leadership conference, mobilizing of 60 young people under 30 who are going to be together to define what the vision and mission of young people is in setting the agenda beyond 2014 and 2015. I'm only one man. In order for this change to happen, every individual at each level of the Federation, staff or volunteer, has to own it and believe in it in order to move forward. It's not a change about change. It's a change to move IPPF forward. It's to bring what is best in IPPF, what the values, the culture, the heritage of IPPF, which has been a movement which talked about issues which are not being talked, which brought the issue of women, gender equality, young people, sexuality into the picture of the last century. And today, embodying this in the current world, in the current climate, and with so many people around, especially the young people who have come. For me, it's a mission, it's a commitment, it's a belief. We shall unite, deliver, and perform.